could the dark horse in the presidential race be independent candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr.? Where most polls indicate RFK Jr. could negatively impact President Biden, a new NBC News poll shows the independent candidate could do more harm to former President Donald Trump's campaign. The poll shows that Trump holds a two-point edge over President Biden in a head-to-head -head matchup. But when including RFK Jr. and a couple other third-party candidates, President Biden leads by two points. Joining me now is James Golden, also known as Bo Snurdly, radio host over at WABC Radio and also author. Okay, Bo, this poll goes against many of the other national polls you and I have discussed right here on the program. What was your takeaway from NBC's findings? Okay. <laughs> yeah, my takeaway was this is a news but no news poll. Marky, look, they polled registered voters. They didn't poll likely voters. When you poll register voters, you usually get less historically, less accurate answers. Their results are within the margin of error. So let's put that within common everyday speak. Maybe we're right, maybe we're wrong. We don't know. So to me, it's a news but no news poll. It's not telling us anything really definitive. And uh, I, what I would have been more interested in, Marky, was if they had polled to see what Americans thought of the way that Democrats are beating up on Robert Kennedy Jr., bringing out his family members to pound on him, and now even the environmentalists that he spent his life working for have come out, and who's coordinating all this? And, and I'd be interested to see whether Americans think that's fair play yeah, and the rather super than PAC. telling us and we don't know. And the super PAC, right? Uh, the super PAC right. that's, that's attacking third-party candidates as well. Uh, but one of the main points made is that Kennedy seems to be more aligned with Trump. So in a matchup that includes Kennedy with a couple of those other names, um, Jill Stein, Cornell West there, RFK would get more Republican support than Democrats willing to throw their vote behind him. Is that a fair point? If it is accurate, it could be a point. We don't know whether it's accurate because of the methodology of the poll. See, that's the thing to me with the polls. If you're going for a headline, as NBC seems to be doing with the poll, okay, you have your headline. But is it accurate? Is it a fair indicator? And based on the methodology, I don't really know what to make of it, whether that's true or not. Okay. Yeah, uh, fair points there. The last time we had a third-party candidate that impacted the turnout of a presidential election was back in 92 with Ross Perot. I mean, he's credited for costing George W. Bush the election. Does RFK Jr. have the same power this time around, you think? Absolutely. And, and let's not forget how Democrats blamed Ralph Nader, too, and pretty much drove him out of the political life when they thought that he had an impact on the presidential election. Robert Kennedy Jr. has the potential to be the deciding factor one way or another as to how this election swings. There's no doubt about it. But look at where the energy is going to try to suppress him, to try to silence him and get him out. It is a coordinated effort by the Democrat Party. So to me, that's the best indicator of what the internal polls that we never see mm -hmm. might be saying. Yeah. Where, who does he really hurt? Well, who's attacking him the most? Yeah, uh, yeah, fair point there as well. Uh, let's talk about his family as a whole, you know, for my last question to you. It was a major endorsement for President Biden that the Kennedy family publicly endorsed him over their own family member, including RFK Jr.'s sister, Carrie. How big of a blow is that for RFK Jr. and his hopes for November? If the Kennedy family had the clout that they once did, uh, regarded as American political royalty, it may have had a dramatic impact. The thing is, if you ask most people about the Kennedys and their history, they have no clue. The, it, the Kennedys' clout in American polit politics have been diminished, except for those people old enough to remember when, look, it was 1968 when, sadly, we lost Robert Kennedy Sr., that's a while ago. Generations now have grown up without ever knowing the Kennedy, the Kennedy mystique, the Kennedy legacy. And um, so it is, it, it doesn't matter to me that, I don't think it matters that much to most Americans. Yeah, it's not Camelot anymore. Uh, well, James Golden, Bo Snurdly, always good to have you, my friend. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Mark. You're always a pleasure. Yeah, talk to you again soon.
Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.